I'm Christine Davis, Principal Flutist of your Buffalo Philharmonic since 1995. I came to the BPO after my junior year in college at the Cleveland Institute of Music and have had the pleasure of working in my hometown ever since. I attended Frontier High School, graduated in 1992, and after three years of college, was very, very happy to come back home. I own two Brandon Cooper flutes. My older flute was built in 1997. The body is sterling silver. The head joint that I have is 14 karat gold, and I had actually had a different head joint years back, which is a gold Brandon head joint. And the lip plate, which is the part of the head joint that goes on my chin, came off of the flute in the middle of a recording session. We, we were recording a piece that had tons of flute solos, and we had literally just done the last one. And I put my flute down on my lap, and I just brushed my thumb across the lip plate to just clean it off, and I heard a clink, and I looked down, and the flute looked okay, and I looked at the lip plate, and it just came right off. I sat there for a second thinking, I have no idea what to do right now. <laughs> no idea what to do. And we had to stop the recording session while I ran home, got my old silver head joint, which I had not played in years, rushed back, and we finished the recording. Years ago, probably, well, it was definitely at the very beginning of my career, we did a guitar concerto with guitarist Sharon Isbin. And unfortunately for me, this piece had a Jew's harp, which is an instrument that sounds like a boing. And I am incapable of hearing that sound and not laughing. And our principal oboist at the time was pretty much in the same situation. We laughed every time the boing started. We laughed and then we laughed more and then we tried to get it under control. And then as soon as one of us would get it under control, the other one would start laughing. This went on the entire week, including the concerts. When I'm not at work, my husband and I have an outdoor pizza oven and we love making pizza. We prefer to do it in the nice weather, although we have been known to get it out in the snow and make wood-fired pizza out in the snow.